First of all, thank you so much for coming to talk to us today. And since your, um, your film is so monumentally important, what's it like to have such a great distribution platform via HBO to you know, be able to tell your story? I think it's amazing because you know what? I think it's a goal for every filmmaker to have his movie, not just sitting somewhere in a shelf or struggling with distribution. It's a dream for every filmmaker to have his um, messages to be delivered to the most a big amount of the vouchers. And I think HBO giving me not only platform to tell my story, deliver the messages that I'm aiming to deliver from the Middle East or from the, my characters from the Syria, but also allowing me as the filmmaker to express myself, to express myself with the timely subject matter. Well, and so another question I have for you is I loved your last film, Winter on Fire. And so how do you, um, how do you sort of try to improve or do things differently between this film and the next film? I think this was, this was much more challengeful because uh, Winter on Fire, I was there on the ground. This one, I only joined forces in 2015. So for me, it was a reconstruction of a lot of elements of like literally four years of the history of uh, Syria to reconstruct them, to find them, to find the characters that were related to this event, to find the characters and made them to feel comfortable with me as a director, to open their hearts and soul to me in front of the camera, to trust me as the filmmaker that I can take their stories and deliver to the bigger world. So I think this was much more challengeable in terms of also to put six years of a history in almost two hours movie. Right, when, as you said, uh, you had to cram a ton of history in this film. So how do you go about researching something like that? How do you make it truthful and find the right facts for it? A, even when I was locking my picture, I brought all my friends who became friends through this journey, Syrian activists to Europe where I was locking the picture and I made them to watch the movie and tell me if it's exactly this history that they went through, that they lived. So for me, it's important to stay exactly to the facts that the history brings to us. And also, it was a lot of different sources, a lot of sources of different activists, a lot of sources of different uh, web platforms, a lot of resources of internet. And again, and the most important, all these heroes from 2011 up until today, their story. So all together, it gave me the material, it gave me thought. It was actually a long process of research, a long process to follow the characters, and a short process of editing, 11 weeks. Wow. Yeah. Well, and then the last question is, so given all that's happened in the past two weeks, which I think is personally shameful, how, so how do you think that this film is even more important now than ever, than when you started shooting it? I think for us, for Americans, we need to learn because we are fearful right now. We're fearful of uh, what press brings to us. They're rebels, and re rebels have a negative connotation. But from the movie and from the history, we're learning that rebels, it's the same protesters that just took weapon after being uh, met with the bullets by the army. They're trying to protect their kids. They're trying to protect their wives not being raped. So it's the same human beings like all of us here in the room so you're learning that rebel was expressed in a media in negative connotation. And I hope we will not be called rebels who are not standing together with our government <laughs> right now, who not like what our government doing. And at the same time, I hope that we will be able to stop this fear in our country because fear comes from the point of lack of knowledge. And we do had a lack of knowledge in our country because of the media that was bringing segments bits by bits, but majorly, News were covering what 2015, a huge wave of refugees into the Europe. Then the terroristic situation that happened, all the explosions. Then we saw the child body in the shores of the Turkey. Then we had a Russia who, under the basically framing fight with ISIS, started to bomb Aleppo. Then we saw all this falling of Aleppo this year. So we knew only the end of the story, but you, Scar, as the filmmakers and other true storytellers, you know. Every story has beginning, middle, and end. And I try to craft a comprehensive story versus small segments of the news and tell the beginning, middle, and end of what's happened here. So it's kind of bringing the knowledge, and knowledge are the most powerful things.